Hey, fellas. Welcome to Southwest Titans Fantasy Football League Week 7 Recap Week 8 Preview. Seriously? Week 7? Week 7? Are we halfway through this regular season already? That makes me sad. Let me look at the schedule. Yeah. Yeah, we're halfway through the regular season. That makes me sad. But anyway, we have a stud of the week for the second time this season. FAFO. He knocks off Ozark Mountain Daredevils 163 to 116, which was also the largest margin of victory this week at 48 points. Um, FAFO had eight players in double figures, led by his Denver defense, who had 30. Ozark only had four in double figures, but Lamar Jackson was huge with 49. Wow, 49 from your quarterback, and then your total was only 116 and got the beat by the largest margin of victory. That's, I mean, that, that's sad. I mean, I feel for you. My season sucks, so. FAFO improves to 6-1 and one and remains in first place while Ozark lost his third in a row, dropping to 4-3, and three, but he's still in the top six in fifth place. That brings me to the second highest scoring team. After being winless at 0-5, and, and last week's stud of the week, and this week is runner-up stud of the week, He's nuts. Knocks off Marino's Mafia, 160 to 127. These nuts had seven and double figures with four more between eight and nine points each. Mafia had five players in double figures led by Josh Allen with 31. These nuts impressively wins his second in a row, improves to two and five, and moves up into 10th place. Mafia slips to four and three, but still sits fairly comfortably uh, in fourth place. Third highest scoring team this week was Derek. Uh, I mean, uh, Cowpokes. Um, and he beat Chad, uh, I mean, Rise Rabbits, 143 to 137. It was a back and forth battle on Monday night. Um, but I, I got to be honest, then I forgot there was a second Monday night game on that I couldn't get. And he had, uh, I think, James Conner going in that game. And then once the Ravens game was about to end, I was like, I'm going to win. And then I realized he still had James Conner in the, for the Arizona Cardinals. And anyway. He ended up getting the advantage the, uh, uh, on Monday night. So, um, sorry, a quick whine. Two weeks in a row, I'm a top five scorer and lose both of them. It's just not my season. Anyway, Cowpokes had seven and double figures led by Derrick Henry. And I promise when he drafted Derrick Henry, I was like, man, that guy's old. He's worn out. He's He's been a workhorse for so many years. And... Here he is, man. He's one of our top running backs in our league. So I was way off on that one. <laughs> in my first round draft pick. <laughs> Hasn't played a game this season. <laughs> yeah, he may, maybe he's worn out. <laughs> Cal Pokes improves to 6-1 and one and stays in second place. And I dropped to 2-5 and five and remain in ninth place. IH Braves wins his second in a row, defeating Shaken Golf 136 to 113. Um, despite his quarterback only getting seven points, IH Braves had seven players in double figures, led by his Philly defense with 27. He had 18 plus from three other positions. Um, Shaken Golf, you know, he had a strong game from Barkley with 27, but. Yeah, I mean, again, it just it just wasn't he just didn't have enough supporting cast to get him over one thirteen. So 
Ice Braves improves to four and three and sits in sixth place. Shake and Golf slips to three and four in, uh, in seventh place, but he's still in striking distance uh, for the playoffs. So, um, still, still plenty, plenty of time for him to get on a roll. On a four game winning streak. Paduk Fins knocks off Hey Fellas 121 to 83. Um, Paduk, Paduk Fins only had four players in double figures. Um, but Zamir Gibbs led the way with 28. Hey Fellas had two in double figures. LA Rams with 21. Um, but yeah, you're not going to win many games when you put up 83. Paduk Fins improves to six and one, just one spot out of second behind his younger bro. That would be third place. And hey, fellas, lost his second in a row and dips to one and six and is in eleventh place. Finally, Mighty Coon Dogs woo, slobbered out a win over Tebow United, one hundred two to sixty six. 102 to 66. I, I'm not going to go over any stats. Sorry. Mighty Coon Dogs improved to 3 and 4. He's in 8th place. Uh, Tebow United lost his 4th in a row, dropping to 1 and 6, and is in last place. So, that takes us through the summary. Now we're going to go into the Week 8 preview, which includes Ride versus GW. And since Halloween is next week, I figured... We would do a little GW. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a little bow on the back, though. I need a little bow on the back. Maybe I'll just do this. Be like a... No, that's not GW. The things I do for you guys. Number one, FAFO versus number seven, Shake It Golf. Head-to-head, -head, FAFO would be 6-1 and one this season. Median points, FAFO, 141 to 128. Projection, FAFO by 13. Um, despite an average start on Thursday night, I think he had like three guys going, but um, still he's projected to win by 13. He's He's been twice stud of the week. Um, how can I go against FAFO? I can't. That's my pick. And GW agrees. He also is going with FAFO for the win. Number two, Cowpokes versus number four, Marino's Mafia. Top six matchup. Head to head, Cowpokes with a slight advantage, four and three. However, this is interesting. They would have alternated wins each week this season so far. And, you know, Cowpokes would have won last week. So does that mean it's Mafia's turn? Will, will the trend follow suit? Median points. Cowpokes with a little bit of advantage. 140 to 135. Projection. It's it's a little hard to tell due to injuries. But, you know, looking and seeing what I'm seeing, it's virtually tied. So I'm going to go with the minor upset this week and pick Marino's Mafia to defeat Cowpokes. But GW disagrees. He gives the edge to the favorite Cowpokes. Number three, Paduke Fins versus number nine, Rides Rabbits. Head to head, Paduke Fins would be four and three. However, I would be two and oh the last two weeks. Medium points, Paduke Fins with the advantage 125 to 115. Projection. Ride by three. Paduke Finn's only got one point from his Minnesota defense on Thursday night, so that's why I'm projected to win as of right now. But Paduke Finn's, he's got. I, I just feel like he's got a stronger team than me. Anytime I pick myself, I lose, so I'm going to go with Paduke Finn's to win his fifth in a row. But GW disagrees. So he's going with the upset with Rise Rabbits. Go GW! 
Number five, Ozark Mountain Daredevils. Dur Daredevils. What? A, have another drink, Chris. Ozark Mountain Daredevils versus twelve Utebo United. Head to head, Ozark would be seven and zero this season. Median points, Ozark one thirty two to eighty seven. Projection, Ozark. Again, there's some injuries involved, but somewhere between 23 and 30 points. Ozark's three-game skid comes to an end, in my opinion, and that's my pick. And GW agrees with me. Number six, Ice Braves versus number 11. Hey, fellas, head-to-head, Ice Braves, six-to-one advantage. Median points, Ice Braves, 127 to 109. Projection, Ice Braves by six. Um, but Braves has two a back, which is also going to benefit his wide receiver, Tyreek Hill. Um, you know, it's always hard when the first game back, but still, uh, Tyreek Hill's not been doing great, but I got to think he's going he's gonna to do a lot better this week with two a back. So I'm going with IH Braves. GW disagrees. He's going with Hate Fellas for the big upset. And that takes us to number eight, Mighty Coon Dogs versus number 10, These Nuts. Who's rolling? Head to head, Mighty Coon Dogs would be four and three, but These Nuts would be two and oh the last two weeks. Medium points, These Nuts. Slide edge, 123 to 120. Projection, D's nuts by eight. Sorry, D's nuts is, like I said, he's rolling. I'm going with D's nuts. GW disagrees. He's going with the coon dogs. The coon dogs. So finally, ride versus GW. Last week. Ride was four and two, above five hundred, which brought my season total to eighteen and eighteen. Fifty fifty on my picks, but GW was three and three, taking him one game behind me at seventeen and nineteen. So Ride is beating the coin flip by one game. Hope you're all having a good weekend. Hope you all have a good Halloween. No Sunday morning game this week. Which makes me a little sad, but anyway, I hope everything's going well, fellas. See ya. What's going on?